Hey guys, Autumn here, and welcome back to Inktober. Uh, today's prompt is spell, I believe? Yes, spell. Um, so, you'll notice the first thing that I'm outlining is kind of weird looking, but I it's the wand that I was drawing, but I was gonna draw a hand on it, and then it just didn't work, and I was like, nope, it's gonna have, like, weird ring things on it. So, that's what that is to get that out of the way. Um... So for this one, I was kind of shot on ideas. I was like, spell, how does that tie in with Jack and his story? And I was like, well, what if somebody tried to cast a spell on him, but it ended up not working? Um, and instead of protecting him, it didn't really do anything. It just kind of happened and that was it. Um, because the way that I wanted Jack to gain his powers was his parents were concerned because he was fragile as a child or something like that, or he had like a metal click condition. I haven't extremely fleshed this part of his story out, and they wanted to protect him and make sure that he could be strong enough to continue to survive. So they took him to um, like a shaman or a wizard or something, and they were like, oh, protect our son, blah, blah, blah. So, the shaman or wizard person was like, sure, I'll put a spell on them that protects them and gives them good health and things like that. And the spell didn't work. Um, but I think what I'm going to have happen is that they are going to um, have, like, have them drink a potion. And by having him drink the potion, it causes him to somehow get his powers having to do with his tattoos. I'm not 100% sure on how I want to have that work out or what I want to do with it, but that's the plan as of this moment that could change because, as I said, he's fleshed out as an adult but not so much as a young child or what he has going on early in his life. I know what he does as he's older, what he likes, what he does. But I don't know what his family is like. I don't know what his what his life as a child is like. So whatever I come up with during these prompts may not turn out to be exactly canon to what I want him to have had gone on in his life. So if there are things that kind of contradict each other, I apologize for that. I'm just trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work for his character. So maybe... Um, I, I think I do want to go with the potion thing. That seems like it'll, it would make about the most sense for any way that for a young child to get his powers and not have them really come to fruition until he gets older. Because with superheroes and vigilantes, they tend to have their powers and then not act on them, or they get their powers and then act on them immediately, such as in the case of Daredevil. Daredevil had his powers since he was a kid, but doesn't act on them until he gets older and kind of gets frustrated with the way the world is working. So he may kind of be like Daredevil-esque, but he doesn't go down a super dark path like Matt Murdock does because I don't want him to become super dark and sadness that is Matt Murdock in at least the Daredevil TV show on Netflix. So he's gonna be happy and have a good life and not argue with all of his freaking friends and family and be an orphan. Yeah, like, the only similarity between him and Matt Murdock is they'll have had their powers until uh, as long as they've been alive, basically. Although, I suppose not, but it's similar in that case. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the next prompt. Bye, guys!
Hey guys, if you like this video, be sure to check out another one over there. And if you want to see the full playlist for this series, check out over here. Thank you for watching and subscribe if you like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone!